interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Well, I don't know what to say, but uh, I'm pretty sure that someone is tracking my phone. Yeah, that's right. Someone has got their eye on me. And guess what? I don't like it. Want to know if someone is tracking your phone too? Well, you're in for a treat today because I have rock solid evidence of how to know if someone is tracking your phone. And I'm gonna show you how to figure it out if someone is tracking your phone too. We're gonna talk about why someone will want to track you, what are the signs you're being tracked, how to detect and remove spyware from your phone, and how to prevent this from happening in the future. But before I get my Sherlock Holmes on, I'd love it if you could get your subscribe on. So stay up to date on all of our latest tutorials and reviews. Be sure to subscribe and like this video while you're at it. It's easy and it's free. Now, it's no secret that we all keep a buttload of personal information on our phones. Voicemails. Josh, this is your mother. Emails. Text messages. Embarrassing selfies, not to mention easy access to social media accounts and bank info. But why would anyone want to track your phone? There are a whole bunch of reasons really. It could be some cyber criminal hacker trying to steal your bank data. It could be a co-worker trying to sneak a peek at your sensitive work files. Or it could just be your ex-partner sniffing through your stuff. No matter who it is doing the snooping, chances are you probs don't want them all up in your phone. Get out! Get out! Get out! But that leads us to the next question. How can you know if someone is tracking your phone? What are the signs and symptoms that you're being tracked? To answer that, we're gonna have to put our detective hat on. Let's get into evidence 1A. Your phone starts making random phantom noises, but you're not using it and you're not getting any notifications. Hmm, that could mean that someone is accessing it from somewhere else. Evidence 2B. Your phone is chewing up way more data than usual. Evidence 3C. Your battery is red hot and is draining quickly. Now, this may mean that your phone battery needs replacing, or it may mean that some a-hole has installed spyware on your phone. The nerve of some people. 5E. I mean, 4D. You're getting random text messages that are just a bunch of numbers and are symbols. Is it secret code? Are they ancient rooms in a technology landscape? No, it's spyware. <laughs> Evidence 5E! You're on a call and you keep hearing odd noises in the background. Hate to break it to you, my friend, but your phone might be tapped by some kind of snake. I'm a slithery little snake a snake. But look, I know how awful to think that some sneaky snake might be tracking your phone. It's scary to think that someone could gain access to all of your personal data and exploit it for your own gain. But thankfully, old Sherlock here has figured out how to stop someone from tracking your phone. You want to know how? Elementary, my dear Watson. Okay. First things first, you need to confirm whether spyware is in fact installed on your phone. Get up all of your apps and look through them carefully. Spyware companies aren't very imaginative when it comes to naming their software. So you're looking for weird apps named something like Track, Stealth, Monitor, or if you can believe it, Spy. That being said, it could be another random name. So just look for any app installed on your phone that you don't recognize or remember downloading. If you find anything suspicious looking, then delete it ASAP. If you've done that, but you're still getting weird signs and symptoms, the next step is to do a factory reset of your phone. I know, I know, it's super annoying to have to do this, but honestly, it gets the job done and evicts any uninvited gremlins in your phone. Oh my god. Now, before you factory reset for the love of all things, holy, make sure you back up your phone. And if you're on iOS, you definitely need to change your iCloud password. If your phone trackers have that info, they can basically access your whole life. I'll have to ask my accountant about that. Now that your phone is spyware free, you might be wondering how you can stop someone else from tracking your phone in the future. And Sherlock, or me, has a three-way solution that will ensure that you never have to stress about this again. One, install a VPN for private browsing. We recommend Surfshark. It's safe, secure, and budget-friendly. Click the link in our description box below for the best price possible. Two, antivirus software. A good antivirus solution is Norton. It provides multiple layers of protection on all of your devices, preventing malware and spyware from ending up on your phone. If you'd like to check out Norton, be sure to hit the link in our description. And finally, three, a password manager.
A password manager like NordPass will keep all of your passwords secure and safe, so you won't have to worry about folks hacking into your Facebook. To get NordPass, be sure to check out the link in the description of this video. And that brings me to the end of this video, my friends. I hope this content has helped you out. It certainly helped me. I may never know who was tracking my phone, but I do know it won't happen again. It was me.